major visa program overhauled by Australia. The Government of Australia has taken a stance to improve the responsiveness and flexibility of its immigration policies. The Government aims to transform the migration pathways according to the country's economic requirements. On December 11, 2023, Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill announced these changes, which would push the visa program into an overall modification and welcome the much-anticipated reforms. We'll tell you more about it in a bit. Did you know now you can get in touch with the best immigration experts in Australia in just few clicks? Visit our website now where we have hundreds of licensed immigration advisors who can help you fulfill your dream of living in Australia. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description box or pinned comment below. Let's resume the video and talk about the latest skills in demand visa. The current 482 visa is to be phased out this year, while a new three-tiered approach towards temporary skilled migration will be launched in the form of a skills in demand visa. This visa would be valid for four years once granted and would be open to various skill levels. This would be good news and a great opportunity for skilled workers from Kansu countries to contribute their skills to the Australian workforce. Then there's Specialist Skills Pathway. This specific pathway, which prioritises applicants with a salary of $135,000 or more, is quite noteworthy. Highly skilled individuals can especially benefit from the pathway, which offers a target of seven day processing and a quick entry into industries that are in need of specialised expertise. The Specialist Skills Pathway is a great streamlined process for Kanzuk skilled workers in search of an ideal career destination. But you better apply quick quickly since only 3,000 places will be available every year. You can also apply for the Core Skills and Essential Skills Pathways. If you fall under the salary range of $70,000 to $135,000, then the Core Skills Pathway could be for you or if you are an aged and disability care worker who earns under $70,000, the essential skills pathway could be ideal. These pathways showcase Australia's determination to manage its requirement for diverse skills. The focus on improved mobility for visa holders is a major step forward towards development from the government. In addition, much needed transparency is integrated through the public register of approved businesses that are eligible to sponsor immigrants. This system would support and uphold the accountability of Kansic International's advocacy and a well-regulated immigration process. Did you know there were more changes? Australia's determination to manage the evolving workforce requirements also includes the following step. Extension on the labour market testing advertising period, eventual phase out of LMT, in exchange of the preferred data-driven updates to the core skills occupation list, therefore a streamlined immigration process that is in line with the shifting needs of the labour market will benefit Kanzuk citizens. Our video ends here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Thanks for watching today's video update.